Left a thing in the Antipodes, all the bad weather's over in the eastern side of Australia. As far as Perth's concerned, it's clear skies, that's the way it's going to be for the next few days at least. So we're looking at temperatures around about 28 to 30 degrees there. It may be a bit cooler on Monday as the wind changes direction. Well, what would we give for 24 to 28 degrees here? It's a pretty mild day, I must say. Temperatures of 12, 13 across in the west there. On the eastern side of England, though, it's still fairly chilly. I think 8, 9, 10 just about sums it up for the rest of the afternoon. Now, looking at the nighttime temperatures coming up in the next four or five, it looks like the blue will become pretty extensive, so a lot more frost developing across England and Wales, especially as we go through to the middle of next week. That's how we're looking at the moment, though. We've got these weather systems across the country, and the winds are going to freshen as the heavier rain returns across far northwestern parts of Britain later on today. Elsewhere, a lot of cloud, but some breaks in the cloud, a bit of brightness here and there where you shelter from the southwest breeze. But I think around these western coasts and hills, generally, it will stay pretty misty and further light rain and drizzle to come. And then a heavier bout of rain coming across into central parts of the country tonight. Clearer weather following, may turn misty here and there, and a cluster of showers also returning across western parts by the morning. So temperatures could dip away to about five or six or so out in the northwest there, but elsewhere it will be a pretty mild night, albeit be it a fairly breezy one with temperatures around about eight to 11 degrees. But that weather system eventually clears away from the North Sea coast around about the early to mid part of the afternoon tomorrow. A wet start, mind you, for many central and eastern parts of Britain. Some of that rain still pretty heavy, but it should clear up quite nicely for the afternoon. But then a lot of showers gathering, especially up in the northwest there during tomorrow. Strengthening winds too, up to gale force perhaps, southwesterly gales returning across Scotland. Those showers could well mostly get some longer spells of rain with the odd crack of thunder mixed in there. That's how the temperatures are looking for tomorrow. I think it'll actually start to feel colder during the afternoon, ironically, as the brighter weather arrives. But we're still looking at temperatures into double figures across a large part of Britain. But on Sunday, most of the cloud and outbreaks of rain returning to western parts are on the brighter skies, though a few showers across in the east. Bye-bye.